okay, Sambo here. It's 19th of October 2013, middle of spring here. As you can say, these raspberries are absolutely jumping away. The tallest of them are probably getting up close to three feet, at least two foot six. So I'll have to start tying those up soon so they don't fall all over the place. I've just been through this morning and chipped the weeds again. This is a job I've got to keep on to every week. Also keep the bloody raspberries under control. Otherwise I'll just spread. And here's the apples. As you can see, fruit is set. I'll have to go through soon and thin some of this fruit out. Plenty of fruit on this tree. There's a heritage variety. Well, they're all heritage varieties. This one's Court of Wick. This one is Grimes Golden. This is what Golden Delicious was developed from. This, this variety is L-Star, as you can see a little bit earlier, apples are a little bit more developed, and I think we're going to get a fair bit of fruit off this tree this year. This is one, I want to get rid of this branch because it comes up to the front back over to the back there. But I've got this branch here coming along. You see my video on pruning. That seems to be coming along just nicely. So I think it's definitely next winter this limb can come out. I think another week or so and I'll be pruning. Get rid of some of these apples. It's Cornish aromatic, this variety. Last season they tended to have smaller apples. As you can see we've still got blossoms there so it's a bit later. But it appears that the fruit has set okay. Shouldn't have any problems with fruit setting here. A gazillions of bees around the place. I haven't got any of my own yet, but I'm working on it. This one, Orleans Raynette. Doesn't seem to be a lot happening with that as, flower, as far as flowers go. May not get any fruit off it this year. There's a, one flower there. This one, Boswell.
bit of fruit is set. More there. Still quite a few flowers. And the last variety, Hubbard's to none such. As you can see, there's miles of fruit on this one. I'm definitely going to have a job to thin some of this out. Heaps and heaps of fruit coming. I'll probably thin those down to probably two or three apples per clump. And I think in the next, when I come back here next week, after just been, been away from home for a week for work, I think I'm going to have raspberries in bloom too. So next year in the autumn, I have plenty of raspberries to sell at the local markets, but there's a self-sown apple tree that's come through. A few smaller ones I noticed when I was doing the pruning. I'll leave that one there for a while. You never know your luck in the bush. Another apple tree. And another one again. So that's how the orchard's looking. But we haven't had any rain here for a week. I'll go and turn the sprinklers on for about a couple of hours, I think. See you later.